we're going to make the radio from is obviously off eBay, off this supplier. And you can see it's a little module with nearly a complete radio actually on it, as you can see. It's pretty, it's pretty nifty. It's a pretty small little unit as well. There's a lot of picture of it. A few clues, so we can go over these little clips here now. So there's the back of the module. And really all we're going to do is fit it in a case with the appropriate battery so that it gives you the dimensions of the unit there so as you can see it's quite a small little module they're only about a fiver from ebay so um well worth putting together and i've when i used it in the past the clarity of the actual receiver itself was you know re very reasonable indeed So this is going to be our little project. Like I said, it's only been a quick one. We're just going to put it in the case. Most of the little bits I got in my hobby box I'm going to use. And um, hopefully we'll end up with a nice little working radio. Well, I took the back off it so you can actually see what I've done there. There's obviously our radio in the, the foreground. I just removed the screws of the case. Just so you can give you an idea of what I've done. I just hooked it up. To the actual terminals at the back some supply the power and the other ones supply the left and right speaker which you can see is down there the little speakers that I bought for it the little switch I had this little battery um, box left over from another project so I think I bought quite a few of them from eBay at the time so um, oops, there's all there so uh, I just made it a little fit really the radio works very well. It is very low current, even though I didn't actually measure the um, what it was actually drawing off the batteries. Um, but I have had those batteries in there for a, a good couple of months, and um, it is showing still no signs of wear. Um, so it, it's obviously providing um, enough current for it, and it's drawing very little current as well. It gives you an idea of what I've done with it, anyhow. Um, like I said most of the little bits and pieces are in my hobby box in here for it. Well this is the radio here. As you can see I see a little two knobs here. I put it in a nice little case. This is a little blue case I bought from our local hardware store from Matlands actually in the UK. I had this little knob here in my hobby kit. Um, I, I pulled it off another project. As you can see, I've got a little telescopic aerial on it. Um, it all fits nicely in the case. I also put at the back of it two little small speakers I also bought from Matlands. Um, it was only about a couple of quid each, so I thought I'd put two in it just to give it a stereo effect. You know, I don't think you're ever going to get stereo so close together. There's a little hole there, one is for the, um, so you can put the headset into it. I'll get there in a minute. So there you go, it's all nicely working. I'll turn it on for you a minute so you can actually hear it. It's firing up now, it's got a nice little blue screen on it. This is obviously a local station. There's the volume on it. I know I'm too long on one station, but I'm sure you get the general idea it's all working. I thought there would be some stations around here somewhere. I believe there's another one just down here. There's another one. So you get down here, it's generally working quite well. I'll turn it off again now. And I just stuck some tape around here just to. Um, cover up my bad cutting of the screen hole really um, but it all works very well um, yeah, it just gives you an idea of what can be done for a nice little small radio